Welcome back for week three of the Bluebell Poncho Loom Along. So if you've kept up with us here for the last two weeks, you have knit 30,096 stitches. Crazy, huh? The worst of it is over, folks. We only have 5,541 stitches to knit this week. That's going to be a cakewalk. So we have week one was the cast on and the three knit lace. Week two was the garter ridge sections. And now week three, we're going to do this really pretty, I love this, the Indian cross stitch pattern here and a little bit more garter ridge. So grab your looms and let's get going. All right, guys, last week we ended with a row number 14. So our Indian cross stitch pattern starts now on row 15. Row 15 says to slip one, unit two pegs, then unit one wrap two each peg to the last three pegs, and then we're going to unit the last three pegs. So let me demonstrate for you here. I would advise that you go ahead and go to my YouTube video on the Indian cross stitch pattern. I haven't cast on enough here to do very many repeats of the Indian cross stitch pattern. So if you need to see it over and over again, you can either rewind this and look at it, or you can go to that YouTube video and it takes a lot more time explaining and demonstrating for you. So here we go, row 15. We're going to slip or skip the first peg, and then we're going to unit the next two peg pegs. Unit one, unit two. Then the pattern tells us to unit one peg and wrap twice that same peg. So we're going to wrap as though we're e-knit e e wrapping once, twice, and now we move to the adjacent peg where we will unit one that peg and then e-knit wrap that peg. And we leave those pegs sitting, or those wraps sitting on the peg. We're not doing anything with them on this row. We go to the next peg, unit, wrap twice, and leave sit. We're going to unit, wrap twice, and leave sit. And I'm to my last three pegs already, and I unit all three of those pegs. One, two, and three. Okay, so that was row 15. Row 14 now of our Indian cross stitch pattern says that we will slip one, purl two, and then you work the Indian cross stitch pattern over groups of four pegs. So these four pegs, we will work the Indian cross stitch pattern. And again, when you're on, when you're doing yours, you're going to have, I don't know how many, 40 or so, 30 sets of four pegs that you work. But we'll work our Indian cross stitch pattern and in the last three pegs, we will purl two pegs in unit one. So I'll demonstrate for you here. We're going to slip the first peg and then we purl the next two pegs. Okay, and now we work our Indian cross stitch pattern over four peg groupings. So here in my sample, again, I only have a one four peg grouping, but you're going to have four pegs and four pegs and four pegs and four pegs and four pegs. You work the Indian cross stitch pattern over four pegs, finish that before you move to the next four pegs. And again, please go watch my video. It explains it and, and demonstrates it much better for you. Okay, so what you do to work the Indian cross stitch pattern is you drop these wraps from each of the four pegs. So here's peg one, I'm going to drop the wraps, drop the wraps on peg two, drop the wraps on peg three, and drop the reg, pe wraps on peg four. The next thing you do is we elongate those stitches to the front of the loom, and I always start with peg four and work backwards. So I'm going to elongate the stitch, grab it, and pull it out, and I use my finger and just kind of hold it. Elongate, elongate elongate. So I've got my four stitches that are elongated. Get my working yarn out of the way so you can see. So there's my four stitches that are elongated to the front of the loom. 
And I use my fingers. You can use a cable needle, but it's just as easy to use your fingers. Pick up the four stitches. The stitch that had been on peg two, you now place it over on peg four. The stitch that had been on peg one, you put it on peg three. The stitch that had been here on peg three, you take and set it over on peg one. The stitch that had been here on peg four, you put it on peg two. Do this sequence exactly the same every time. The Whichever two you decide to move first, always do that. So I always move my two left over to the right and then I take my two right and move them to the left. But always do it the same time, or the same way every time so that when you're done, you can see that all of my stitches look the same. I don't have some going this way on top and some going that way on top. All of my stitches that lean to the right are on top. All of my stitches that lean to the left are underneath on bottom. Okay? So once you have crossed the stitches, then you must purl each one of those stitches to hold them in place. So purl one, purl two, Pearl three and pearl four. And that's it for one group of four. In your knitting, you're gonna have another group of four. So you'll work that group of four next in the Indian cross stitch pattern, where you drop the wraps, elongate the stitches, cross the pegs, and then purl everything. So you do that around the loom till your last three pegs. We purl two, and then we're going to unit this last peg. And that is it for row 16. So that will get you your Indian cross stitch pattern. And now we just have this garter section yet to finish. So row 17 starts our next garter ridge section. Row 17 says slip one and you all. So we're gonna slip or skip the first peg and we unit to the end. Okay, that was row 17. Row 18, we're going to skip one peg and purl to the last peg, and then we're going to unit this last peg. So we're going to skip peg one, purl to the last peg, Okay, we slip one, purl to the last peg, unit the last peg. And that was row 18. So we're going to repeat rows 17 and 18 one more time. For those of you who are knitting with a different gauge loom, that's gonna be a quarter inch roughly. And now we move to a garter ridge section of E-wrap knits. So this is row 19. Row 19 says, Slip one, E-wrap knit all to, to the last peg, and then we unit the last peg. So skip one, E-wrap, and again, go watch my garter ridge hack. It makes this go faster, but I'm going to show you every row, and I don't want to confuse people who aren't ready for the hack. So E-wrap knit to the last peg, and then we unit that last peg. Okay, so that was row 19. Row 20 says skip or slip the first peg, purl to the last peg, and then e-wrap knit that last peg. So we're going to skip the first peg, we're going to purl, whoops.
So we've slipped the first peg, purl to the last peg, e-wrap knit that last peg, and that was row 20. We now repeat rows 19 and 20 for 20, another 10 times, so we're going to do a total of 11 ridges. For those of you using a different gauge loom, that's about four inches worth, a little over four inches worth of the guard, this last garter ridge. All right, guys, 5,544 stitches. That's what you're going to do this week. When you come back next week, we'll ready, be ready to do our bind off and our assembly. Almost there. Hang in there.